Hey drummers, okay, I hope you can see my foot here. And this is gonna be my bass drum foot and my snare hand. But you can remap these anywhere you like. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a slow backbeat. One, two, bass, snare. We'll do eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and. And in this sequence, we're going to look at um, groupings of threes of our subdivisions accenting in groups of threes, and seeing how far we can go um, before we even out with our, with our pattern, okay? So uh, I'm just gonna introduce the sort of the concept um, of, of the grouping that we're gonna do. So we're gonna uh, augment this to, actually diminish it, we're gonna diminish it to uh, 16 bits, one, okay? Then what we're going to do, I'm just going to take off the bass and snare for a second, we're going to group these in threes. So I'm going to accent, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Later, we're going to just cut out the middle ones and feel the one, two, three, 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 okay? And as we go forward, um, landed back on my one with my accent at the same time as my bass drum. Um, so what we're going to do, sorry I didn't explain what's happening there, but we're going to try and just do uh, short sequences of a group of three, like that, one, two, three, and then, um, and then loop, uh, line back up with our, with our pattern. Um, and we're just going to add a, a, a new one each time. So I'm going to start with two. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then we're back. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So it doesn't take long to line up. Three, it shouldn't be too hard either. Two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'll get one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And you can probably see that eventually we're going to go outside of that one bar. Of our, of our back feet. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna start going over the bar line, as you might say. All right, so I'm gonna do now four. One, five on our snare drum here. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And that's five, still within the bar. Six, by the way, this is gonna go to 16. Eventually 16 will line back up at one on our bass drum, beat one. It's gonna take three bars of back beat. Uh, here's seven. So now we're gonna we're gonna um, actually six. Six is gonna move us beyond the bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did seven by accident. Okay, so now it's seven. One, two, three, four, five. Here's eight. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that lined up with a with a with a bass drum, but it lined up with the beat three bass drum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To it that one is the next one and we land on on one so we have four bars three bars of backbeat and 16 accents in groups of threes so I'm just gonna um, quickly do the same thing now leaving out the internal notes one and just do the outside one two three four five okay. so here we go starting from one two three here's two one two switch into that mode though so being on one and two and three da, da, da. so 
so to, to have the freedom in your right hand, left hand, as it were, in your in your hi hat or uh, subdivision hand, to uh, to move into those groupings of threes, uh, will also give you a lot of freedom on your fills as well. So it'll give you uh, more uh, places to go because you don't always have to start on the one 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 two three four. You can pick it up. I'm not. I won't know the number, but one. sort of adding in, keeping the accents. So um, before we were doing a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, but now I'm, I can add in a one, bum, 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 one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, three, one. Kind of like a shuffle pattern in my uh, subdivision hand. Um, and again, with fills, uh, you can start to bring that hand in to toms or snare drum or accents. Um, snare, um, managing the ground of the beat, uh, and you can go out and have surface patterns that go off of the, uh, off the, not off the grid, but off of the main accent structure. All right, so play around with those um, ideas of grouping. If you want to do it with two hands. snare drum um, to bring it back to its center, but use your bass drum as your as your grounding pattern.